back to another video. Today we're going to be seeing the difference between the World Trans Pro Tour 2000 Series E8 versus the original Pro 2000 Series E8, which is the which one's better than for your body. Okay, so let's start with the details and we're starting on the non bolters E8 for all of these. Um, so you can see the side, all the details on there, and the wheels, you can see all the truck details and the back door and area ladder. And then the roof, because there is a difference between the roofs. I thought. Okay, so now for the details on the Walters E8. So now we are use the side. This one has better details and the colors. I prefer more on this. And the trucks, you know, I, I would say it just has better details in general. Do like pulling power. I'm just going to kind of tell you how many cars you can pull. The non the Proto 2000 series E8, the not Walters one, can pull over 13 passenger cars of a 3% hill. And if you need one E8 to pull more than 13 passenger cars up a 3% hill, I don't know what you're doing. But clearly, this can do it. Um, so that's how many the Pro 2000 series E8 can pull, which is way more than you should ever need for one engine. This is just the one E8. And you should normally have like two E8s together, so this thing has no problem with pulling power. Now for the Walters Proton E8. It cannot pull as many cars. It could pull like nine or ten cars about there up like a two percent hill. It's not as powerful as the other one, but it does have, in my opinion, better details than the other one, so. But it's still plenty powerful, considering nine passenger cars, still quite a lot. And if you do have two of these, you know, that's, you can still pull pen plenty of cars. So they're both powerful. I would say powerful enough, but the older Proton 2000 series is more powerful. Okay, so I want to talk about the sound a little bit in the Walters Proton series and why I kind of don't like it. So, one big issue I had is, yeah, don't mind that for now, is in here you're getting Tsunami 2 sound, which is good. And you get your two speakers, but the speakers are kind of big. And I don't know if you'll have the same problem if you get this. And they put pads in there, but it just doesn't really help s stop it from vibrating the shell because it's resting on the speaker itself. So I had to put some little like hot glue in there just to have a border to stop it from vibrating the shell, which worked, but it's kind of annoying. You just cannot hear it, which I thought was kind of cool. Because most of my engines, there's always a slight sound with it. This one has zero motor noise. So I just want to go over some of the pros and cons of each. When I have the cons, that just means it's worse than the other one. And pros are just, it's better than the other one. So let's get into I it. I would say the Walters Proton series has better details. I like the paint job of the Walters one better and I just like the some of the details overall mainly it has the um, radio wires on top that the Pro 2000 series does not have and for the non Walters one I would say yeah, I like it better well in the case it has better power it's stronger it is quite a bit heavier which I didn't really go into because you don't really need ditches weight 
it is a lot heavier. I don't know if that helps with it, but I, I maybe a little bit, but it is stronger and it's stronger enough that I don't think it's just the weight. I know I put in lights as in one of the pros that the Walters one has, and you might think that's, you know, what's, it's just a light. But I do like these little like marker lights do light up and there is a dimmer if you want a little bit dimmer and it shuts off these side ones and I just thought that was nice that they added that that the Proton 2000 series does not and have. I'm going to add price to the Walter to not to the non Walters the, Pro, the Pro 2000 series just cuz you can get them for so cheap. You do have to hardwire any chip to make a DCC in the Proton 2000 series but you can get them for so cheap, especially in bidding wars. Recently, I saw one go for $40, and that's just so cheap considering you can just get a sound chip, put it in there, and it's a, it's got, it still has some good details. So I just think the price is better for what you're getting compared to the Walters one. Um, so sound, I gave to the Walters obviously because it has sound, comes with sound. And even if you do put sound in the other one, you kind of have some limitations because the metal brick basically that's in there that covers everything is very big. So unless you want to take that out, which would kind of make it a lot less powerful without that weight, you are limited on how much room you have. Like you, you're not fitting the same speakers as you have in the Walters Proton. E8. You can't even fit one of those. You're going to have to get a smaller speaker so it's going to sound worse. And if you do get a chip, yes, you get more sound options, but you're getting, you do have to install it, hardwire it, and you're going to have to find all the sounds you want, or you can just leave it with not changing it. It doesn't sound like an E8 would have sounded. Okay, so I added features to the Walters to not the Proton 2000 series. I don't know. It's just kind of something I wanted to add considering all these doors open. Oh, sometimes they do get stuck open. All the doors open. These top covers do come off. With mine though, it's like they forgot to put enough coats on it. So I'm never going to take these off, but you could if you wanted to. So I'm just saying it's like it's got like kind of more features. Even this front thing, the front door opens. And I would just say it's kind of cool that it does open and those things work and open. So I'm giving the Pro 2000 series another point for that. Overall, for each one of the engines, I would say if you were to buy one, unless you find a really good deal, I would probably go with the Pro 2000 series. The Walters one is good, but I kind of think it's overpriced. So if you find you know, a lot of them are going for $150 like starting bid, and that's quite a bit. I wouldn't say you're getting $150 plus or like $160 worth of engine. Like, it's a good engine. I just, I just don't think it's worth it for how much they're going for. It's not a bad engine. The details aren't bad, but they're probably the best. But with this one, you're still getting good details. You know, you can find them for like $40. You can put sound in them, and they still sound pretty good for cheaper. And they're more powerful, and, you know, your doors. You, buy, you can buy whichever one you want, but in my opinion, I probably won't be buying any more Walters Proton E8s. Unless I find a really good deal on them, like I did with those, I paid two hundred and twenty dollars, and I did plan on selling one and keeping the other one, but they didn't match as well as I thought they would. These two, um, so I would say the Pro Two Pro to Two Thousand series is a better bang for your buck, but the other one's still good. I would mostly just buy it if you can find a good deal. That's all I have. For today's video, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. Probably worked on this for like, I don't know, six hours of filming. Yeah, it sounds like a lot. Um, it was. And if you did like the video, 
please like and consider subscribing. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.